Can you keep a secret, then? For anyone who has ever owned a teddy bear, or wished to, Sally and Simon always like snow at Christmas. Did we have this much snow last year? I don't think so. But the year before that, now that was a very snowy Christmas. And what a Christmas to remember. It all began, hmm, let's see. Ah, yes, it all began with Sally's letter. By our good friends at McLaren's Toy Store. Wow! In a Space Raider Destructor Helmet! I hope I get one of those. Oh, neat! A red laser phaser! Mom said no more guns. He was trapped on the planet Mars. Let's listen as his trusty friend... What are you doing? None of your beeswax! Let me see! Mom, tell Simon to stop! It was life as usual in the house. Sally and Simon were busy running around while I was busy being Teddy. Which is sometimes hard to do. You see, we Teddy Bears can come to life. Slurp's always trying to make me go un-Teddy. But it takes more than a game of fetch, shake, and toss to do it. Because whatever else happens, a Teddy Bear must never, ever let a people see it move. That's the teddy bear rule. Slurp! You leave Ben alone. You're always munching on Ben. Did that mean Slurp hurt you? There you go. I don't know. Simon, it's private. Just between me and Santa. You don't still believe in... What? Ah, forget it. There. To Santa Claus, North Pole. And just in case he gets hungry for one of Mom's special Christmas cookies... <laughs> Slurp! <Hey. laughs> Can you keep a secret, Ben? I've written Santa Claus asking him for one special gift this Christmas. No, that's not it. I've asked Santa to bring me a teddy bear of my very own. Simon says you can be my bear, but I think he still needs you. Now remember, I'm counting on you to keep my secret. Hmm. Another teddy in the house? <laughs> oh no, not again. <laughs> huh? Slurp! Put that down, you oversized vacuum cleaner! That's not for you. That's Sally's letter to Santa. Let's look at our snowman. Yeah! 
What am I going to do? I've got to rescue Sally's letter. Now's my chance to rescue Sally's letter. Sally is dreaming about a teddy bear for Christmas, and you've chewed up her letter to Santa. How's a wish supposed to come true if Santa doesn't know what to bring? There's only one more day until Christmas. I've got to find Santa and tell him what's happened. I bet you a nickel Sally's letter will tell me where to look. There. That's one puzzle solved. Oh, slurp. I forgot. Teddy bears can't read. They can only be read, too. Oh, I'll never find Santa this way. Better hide these. Sally would be so upset. Now what do I do? Oh, great. Just great. Slurp! Shame on you. You leave Ben alone. Poor Ben. You can look all you want, Simon, but you won't find any presents until Santa brings them. Oh, yeah? Then how come Mom bought us presents at McLaren's yesterday? Gee, I don't know. It's only the most amazing toy store in the world! Maybe Mom's helping Santa out this year. You know how busy he can get. That's it! I can help Santa out by making Sally's wish come true. All I have to do is go to a Clarence toy store and find a teddy bear for Sally. <laughs> oh. I hope this works. There are so many people in this wide world, I'm going to have to be pretty careful not to get caught un-teddy. Well, here goes. Boy, outside's much bigger than inside. Well, I won't find McLaren's toy store by standing around.
Simon was right. The Clarence really is a magical place. But they seem to have everything except teddy bears. Second floor. Colorful kites, crayons and crafts, cotton candy just for laughs. Third floor. Robots and rockets, dressed up dolls, toy trains and trumpets and bright bouncing balls. Fourth floor. Drums and dragons and monsters galore, kitty cars, kazoos and much, much more. Fifth floor. Wagons and wind-ups, whistles and whatnots, footballs and flippers, figure skates and stickers, puppets and players, and lovable, huggable teddy bears. Teddy bears. Hey, little fella, did you fall down? There you go. Now everyone can see you. Oh no, I'm trapped. Finding Sally a new teddy bear in time for Christmas is more difficult than I thought. I've got to get down from here. But with all these people... Ah! Okay. Now which way to Ted? Ah! Phew. <laughs> Santa, I can tell him Sally's message myself, and then he'll fix everything. Oops, what am I thinking? Hey, that elf looks just like someone I know. Betty! The nice girl who babysits Simon and Sally. Maybe that's just the way it is with elves. They all look like someone you know. Hey, you're not supposed to be moving. And you're not supposed to talk either. Well, neither are you. Oh, yeah. Gee, I never talked before. Hey, everyone, I can talk. Welcome, shoppers. Would you like that gift wrapped? Oh, no. You can speak to the manager. Hmm. Imagine that. A newfangled talking bear. McLaren's Toy Store will be closing in five minutes. Thank you for shopping at McLaren's, and have a happy holiday. Don't you know the teddy bear rules? What if we all started talking and moving about? Boy, no one would ever trust a teddy to keep a secret again. Thank you for shopping at McLaren's and have a happy holiday. Hey, quit that. Gosh, I'd better get you out of here. I don't know how I know it, but you're just the right bear for a friend of mine. By the way, my name's Ben. Benjamin Bear. What's your name? Gee, I don't know. But then I don't know why I can walk and talk either. <laughs> That's because you're needed. What happened? You just went Teddy for the very first time. <laughs> You're no dummy. No, silly. I'm a teddy bear. McLaren's Toy Store is now closing. Thank you for shopping, McLaren's. Oh, we've got to get out of here. Now. What? Leave the toy store? You never said anything about leaving the toy store. Oh, no. Listen, there are more wonderful things outside this store than you can imagine. And besides, you're needed now. Sally is counting on you to be there. It's, it's your responsibility as a teddy bear. Who's Sally? Your best friend, only you don't know it yet. Now just follow me and you'll be fine. But this is my home. Gone. You've got to listen to me. A people is depending on you. You sure are a nice bear, Ben. But I'm not leaving my home. There's a new home just waiting for you. 
full of... <laughs> Whoa! What was that? That makes me feel funny inside. Make it stop, Ben. <laughs> Are you lost? I'm sure your mommy will be here soon. Don't cry. Ricky, there you are. Oh, thank goodness. Here's Teda. Why don't you hold her? Everything's going to be all right now. You see, that's what teddy bears do best. They help people feel better. They love people and are loved right back. I'd sure like to know what that feels like. Stick with me and you'll soon find out for yourself. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. I'm off to be useful and loved right back. Hurry up. It's past closing time. This way. We must get out before... Oof. We're locked in! No, wait! Hey, Ben! Is this where you live? No, it isn't. Hey! Let me down! <laughs> you look pretty funny, Ben! <laughs> Fun? Fun? <sighs> Sally's gonna be so disappointed if you're not under that Christmas tree tomorrow morning. Maybe she'll stop believing in Santa, like Simon. Gee, teddy bears sure do have lots of responsibilities. Yes, and that's why they never give up. Well, you two are leaving in a bit late. Yeah, I'm running a little behind schedule. Seems like there are more children every year. Thank goodness for Betty's help. Hey, did you hear that? That elf is Betty, the babysitter. So perhaps that's not really Santa. Only a kind man helping him out. Just like you. I guess you'll be heading home then. Well, not quite yet. I still have presents to deliver. Quick, get in. I'd be happy to help deliver them. Thanks, but I have to deliver these myself. Which reminds me, here's something for you, Joe. Merry Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas, Mr. Jones. Thanks. Thanks very much. And a Merry Christmas to you both. Well, I'll be... Captain Ray Comics. He was my hero when I was a kid. But how did he know? It's a perfect evening. All we need now is for it to snow. I love snow at Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas! Well, goodbye. It's been fun working with you. You hurry on now. I bet there are some wonderful presents waiting for you at home. Do you really think so? Oh, I don't doubt it at all. Good night, Betty. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, you guys. Huh? He saw us. Like he knew all along. It's snowing. It's wonderful! Whee! <laughs> when do I get a name? 
as soon as you meet Sally tomorrow morning. Thanks for coming to find me, Ben. You were right. I couldn't have imagined this. <laughs> Swerp! Ben! Swerp! Hey! Did you take Ben again? I'm a big teddy bear flop. I'm supposed to make things better. But because of me, a little teddy bear is gone forever. And Sally's Christmas wish can never come true. I think I'll stay teddy forever. What was that? <sighs> Nothing. I hope Christmas never comes. Watch. Look, Mom! Dad! A train! <laughs> Just what I wanted! Where's my present? This is it! Poor Sally! Oh, he's just what I wanted! Huh? He's beautiful! I love him! Friends. Hiya, Ben. It's good to be home. W Wally? But how? To Sally, love Santa. <laughs> and Ben. Hi, Ben. What you doing? Just remembering. Oh! Merry Christmas, Ben. Merry Christmas, Wally. Thank you. 